over here we normally have two or three rows of beams. Then somewhere on this half, we usually have the beets, the onions, and the cabbage, I think, over there. Brothers Sam and Luke Zyskreski show us around Lacey Garden in Fitchburg, Wisconsin, just outside Madison. Work in this garden is a true family affair. Well, originally Ryan's came a few years ago and he'd take the older two and I'd stay home with the younger, but as they've gotten older, then we just all come and the littlest ones make the people around us smile, so they do their part. As part of their Vincentian calling to serve, Ryan and Lauren Zyskreski plant, weed, and pick nearly every Monday in this St. Vincent de Paul garden. So in the spring, we start with uh, planting. Um, and then during, as the things are growing, then we take care of the keeping the weeds down so that things can grow. And then um, the favorite part is once it's fully mature and we get to harvest it, that's what the, the kids enjoy the most. Cabbage, tomatoes, potatoes of a variety of sorts, and we have, well, radishes. Let's see, I picked, I think, two weeks ago, and, well, more plants than I've ever grown in my gardens before. Tom Dobbins, a student member of the Vincentian Conference at the University of Wisconsin in Madison, knows the fruits of his labor are making a difference in the lives of his neighbors in need. It's really nice giving away healthier options. A lot of times if you're just giving away canned goods, it's a lot of that isn't very good for you. And so it's nice giving away healthy options. Vincentian Mark Miller agrees. This produce is a healthy food to eat because it's fresh. Mark is drawn to the garden because he wants to do his part to help those impacted by food insecurity. You know, everybody should have enough to eat. To eat. You know, it should be, you know, nobody should be hungry in this country. So the, the food pantry, um, downtown Madison, um, it's a unique food pantry where you know, there's actually fresh produce you know, on, the, on the shelves for people to pick. Um, so stuff that we pick tonight um, will be there tomorrow for them, typically. So That quickly? Yep. The produce from Lacey Garden, like these beans, wind up here at the St. Vincent de Paul Food Pantry in Madison. Recipients say the healthy veggies are a welcome addition, a basket full of food that really stretches their budget. It's expensive at the grocery store, but when it comes to the vegetable selection here at St. Vincent de Paul, it's, it helps out a lot, my budget. Lavendi Smith says she appreciates the variety of items she finds at the St. Vincent de Paul Food Pantry in Madison. They look good. I come here and I get corn, potatoes, cucumbers, tomatoes, a whole selection of vegetables on the list. All my favorites like broccoli, you name it, whatever it is, they have it here. Boy, oh boy, I love portobellos. Yum. It's a vegetarian's dream here. That's great. Artichokes, too. I love my vegetables. Times have been tough for painter Jason McCoy, who says when rain washes out his work, he struggles to make ends meet. Between rent and your utilities, food is dead last. You have to keep the lights on. I have to pay the landlord or I'm out on the street, and I am that homeless person. Jason has noticed the Vincentian difference alive in this food pantry from the welcoming nature of the Vincentians to the emphasis on quality, healthy items. The staff here is very respectful. They don't treat you as any less of a person. If anything, they are like an, a family member to you, an added family that, uh, you know, just takes care of you. Health-wise, I mean, it's certainly more important than the sweets and, and the bread. and um, It's healthier for them and their family and their children and um, getting some vegetables and um, try, hopefully trying some new vegetables every once in a while. Vincentian Bev Resch is drawn to the ministry of the Society of St. Vincent de Paul for not only how it helps others, but also for how it helps her. I'm honored to do St. Vincent de Paul because uh, I think as volunteers we probably benefit as much as the people who come here because we're able to do something and not just think about it or worry about it or talk about uh, poverty and hunger. We're able to do something about it. It makes me feel good to know I'm doing something good and worthwhile. 
and there's a nice sense of community here. You know, you get to know some of the people that are you're working with every week. It's become, I guess, part of me and part of, yeah, what I do and who I am. Those who receive produce grown with love are thankful for the people who put so much care into all of the seeding, weeding, and growing. I'm very grateful. I, wouldn't, I don't know what I would do without St. Vincent de Paul. And it reaffirms not only the health in my body, but the health of my soul to know that there's good Christian people out there that put love into just everything from vegetables to a canned goods. Back in Lacey Garden, there is one thing the Zerskreski kids are not so fond of. The weeding is probably the, the least favorite for the kids, you know, coming out with the hose, but, um, but uh, you know, it develops character, so. <laughs> Once we had to do weeding in this, like, whole square of tons and tons of weeds, and we had to weed that. Right now, the garden could use some weeding, like, over there and by the onions in this whole row. And just so you know, Sam likes to sample the string beans to make sure they're fresh. The bigger beans are juicier, but the smaller ones have more taste. And I like the smaller ones more. We'll take your word for it, Sam. For Our Faith in Action, today's Society of St. Vincent de Paul, I'm Trace Trolka.